Good day, two Ps, and welcome to your first lesson on volume. Uh, we're going to be talking about volume of prisms and pyramids today. So our goal is to be able to find the volume of prisms and then use that volume to calculate the volume of a pyramid. So before you watch this video, I hope you've watched the little demonstration that I linked on the flipped classroom. Uh, it's just a little demonstration on how the volume of a prism is related to the volume of a pyramid. Uh, and uh, normally I would... You, some of you may have had me in grade 9 and I did a little rice demonstration. Um, if you did, um, you may re remember what the relationship was and be able to understand that video. So, um, here's what we're doing here. <coughs> the pris a prism is a shape that has two congruent parallel sides. Other faces are rectangles and join the two sides. So let's take a look at the two most common prisms that we're going to be working with. The rectangular base prism. We start with a rectangular base and it has another side parallel to it, right across from it. And then all of the other sides come from joining the faces. That's not what I wanted to do. Joining each of these faces. Whoops. There we go. So all of these um, vertices get joined. And now we have our rectangular prism. And our rectangular prism has this as its base, and then it has another one parallel to it. Although for a rectangular base prism, um, we could say any one of them are actually the base because they all have, um, have parallel uh, faces that are exactly the same. The triangular base prism is not quite the same. Um, we still have two shapes that are congruent and they're parallel to each other and then all of the other faces are going to be rectangles and they're going to join these two triangles. So we've got one face shown right there, two faces there, and then on the bottom is the third face. So the what we call the base on this one, even though it's not the one that's actually sitting flat on the ground according to this picture, the base is the, tr the shape that has another shape directly across from it that's exactly the same. That's how we know what the base is on these figures. So to find the volume, you must first find the area of the base. So you have to identify the base first. And this says, or the top, they're the same shape. So you've got two shapes. You've got the base and the top, which are exactly the same. You've got to find the area of them. Uh, then you need to multiply by the distance between them, which is also known as the height of the prism. So uh, volume equals area of the base times the height. And we're going to do a couple of examples to hopefully show you how to, um, how to do this. Now, we're going to start with the rectangular one. And the rectangular prism is so easy to find. The rectangular prism, also known as a box, um, since it, has, it basically has three different bases. If we call this the base, then its opposite side is this one. But it also has another pair of parallel uh, faces, which is this one and this one. And it also has another pair of parallel faces, which is just this bottom one here, and then hopefully you can see it is this top one up here too. That's a lot of scribbles, but so since they're all the same, what we end up doing is just multiplying all the dimensions together. So finding the volume of a rectangular prism is so easy, it's just length times width times height. Just take the three dimensions. I've got five times eight times four. So it's gonna be five times eight times 4. 5 times 8 is 40, times 4 is 160. And so that's going to be 160, and this is going to be cubic inches, because it's volume. Whenever we have volume, it's just, we use three dimensions. So volume, we need that cube there. Now the next one is the triangular prism. The triangular prism is a little bit harder uh, because it doesn't, we don't multiply all three heights. We have to actually find the area of the base first. And since it's a triangular prism, the area of the base is a triangle. And I know that that's the base in this case because I have this triangle here, and then I have an exact same triangle parallel to it on the other side. So since I've got that, we're going to find the area of the base first. And the area, to find the area of the triangle, is a half base times height. So we're going to do that. Uh, one half, the base 
of a triangle in here is where the height base of a triangle always meets the height at a 90 degree angle. So when I have a 90 degree angle in the triangle, I know that one side is the base and the other part of that 90 degrees is the height for the triangle. So this base in here is 12. It's the same as this side here that has a 12 on it. So the base is 12 and the height is 6.3. So that's what I need to fill in here. I need a base of 12 and a height of 6.3. So that will be going to be 6, because half of 12 is 6, and then we need 6 times 6.3, which is 37.8. Um, and this is in feet, and since it's area, it's going to be square feet. Now to find the volume, I need the area of the base, which I just calculated, 37.8. And I multiply it by the height. Now the height is the distance between the two bases. So between the two triangles in this case. So those are my two triangles. So this is the distance between the two triangles. So it's 7 feet. So I need to multiply that by 7. So 37.8 times 7 is 264.6. And again, this is in feet. And since it's volume, we've got three dimensions. It's cubed. Now the volume of pyramids, you saw in the little demonstration that the volume of pyramids is related to the volume of a prism. Um, it's just the volume of a prism divided by three. Um, in other words, three pyramids fit into a prism with the same base and height. So we can write that two different ways. We can write volume equals area of the base times height divided by three. Or we can say it's one third the area of the base times height. Um, both of those say exactly the same thing. So whichever one you choose to use is entirely up to you. So let's try these two um, questions. This one says find the volume of the given pyramid. Well, we first have to find the area of the base. Now the base in this case, uh, for pyramids, um, most of the time, most of the shapes of the sides are going to be triangles. This one happens to be a rectangular base uh, pyramid. So the rectangle on the bottom is what we need to find the area of. So the area of the base in this case is a rectangle, so I have to do length times width to find it. And in this case, it's 12 times 5. And 12 times 5 is 60. And since this is area, it's going to be square yards. Now to find volume, volume equals area of the base times the height. And if I were finding the volume of a prism, we'd be done. But since it's a pyramid, I have to divide that by 3 or take a third of it. So the area of the base is the 60 that we found. The height is this distance in here. The distance from the base right up to the peak. So in that case, it's marked 8 yards. So 60 times 8 is 480. And this is in yards. And we're finding volume, so it's cubic yards. So there's our final answer. And lastly, and this should say volume four, not or example four, not example three. Find the volume of the given pyramid. Now this is a triangular pyramid. I've got this base, and there's a height that goes up to the point. And so I have to find the area of the base. It's a triangle. So the area of a base for a triangle equals one half base height. And again, the base and the height of the triangle always meet at a 90 degree angle. So there's my 90 degree angle in that base triangle. So I have to multiply the two things that make up that 90 degree angle. In this case, that's going to be the 8 and the 6. So I need to take a half 8 times 6. Well, half of 8 is 4 times 6 gives us 24. And this is area, so that's going to be square inches. Now again, for volume, volume equals area of the base times height. If I were doing a prism, I would be done. But since it's a pyramid, since it comes to a point, we have to divide by 3. We basically cut pieces away so it can come to a point at the top. The area of the base we found to be 24 inches. The height goes from the base all the way up to the tip top of the pyramid, the point, 
so in this case, that height is this seven inches that we have marked on there. So I need to multiply that by seven. And then we divide by three. Now, 24 times seven divided by three is 56. And since this is measured in inches, we need in inches. And since it's volume, it's going to be cubed. And that completes our lesson on finding the volume of pyramids and prisms.